Thanks, Nikki. The year is 2050. Central Otago represents a refugee camp with 200 square metre sections dotted all around the landscape. The Waitaki Valley, of all places, has been consistently cropping at seven tonnes a hectare since 2031, and a trail of awards has seen average bottle price skyrocket. Due to recent success with his signature cookbook titled Stink Bugs, Tastier Than You Think, Ed Massey is now Prime Minister. <laughs> By the time we reach 2050, global population will be 9.8 billion people. It is estimated that we will have to produce twice as much food as we do now to sustain that population. So, will we even have a vineyard, or will there be pressure to replant in a stable crop? If we were to still have a vineyard and an industry in central Otago, we may not be growing Pinot anymore. Instead, we have taken over as New Zealand's best region for Syrah. Sorry, Hawke's Bay, but that doesn't leave you with much, does it? <laughs> Less favourable eastern slopes will be the top producers. Vines will be goblet trained and high density planted to create their own shade and avoid the harsh, relentless heat due to global warming. 2050, 30 years. Seems like a long time. But will the age old question of terroir and identity be answered by then? Will we truly understand our vines? It's hard to say if the wine industry will be here in 2050 or not, but the wines will be. What we are creating each year is our legacy, captured within a bottle for all time. Yeah. A day in 2050 could be alarms going off, alerts popping up on my phone saying, this vine over here is deathly dry according to the technology. I throw on my jetpack, Zip on over to check it out, taking the one tried and true piece of technology that never fails, my spade. A spade doesn't take false readings. A spade doesn't need Wi-Fi. A spade doesn't need a battery. We can have all the technology in the world in 2050, but day to day, I will still be relying on the basics. It's not all bad though. Some vineyard robots will be great. They will test and analyze sugars acids, phenolics, or whatever else is needed on an individual berry scale. They can also capture live stink bugs that sell on the black market, which are in high demand since Ed cookbook, Ed's cookbook was released. <laughs> but when it comes to harvest decisions, will we, still, we will still be out in the vineyard, walking the vines, tasting the grapes, saying, no, just one more day. And that will never be taken away from us. Thank you.